DAC and ADC, converting back and forth between digital and analog signals. The form you're going to be most familiar with is audio, because you have digital audio stored as binary numbers, and then the analog signal is speakers and microphones. There's a million different ways to do both of them, so let's do one today. A resistor ladder is just several different resistors of different values, and you can select between them in different ways. So if this were a voltage divider, you would have a fixed value resistor here and three different value resistors here, and selecting one of these three with something like a switch, like an analog switch, or even something like a decoder or DMUX, would allow you to have a variable voltage. And most commonly when you hear the term resistor ladder, they're going to be powers of two values, like 1K, 2K, 4K, and so forth, because a binary number is powers of two, so you could think of each resistor working with one digit. And there's different ways to build them and incorporate them into circuits. Today, I'm going to use another thing that I've already gone over called a weighted summing op-amp amplifier. You have multiple different voltages in, and then you have different size resistors give them different weights. So it's like if you had the number two and the number four, but you want to say that two is three times as important as four. So you might do times three, four, and times one, four. So even though two is smaller, it's contributing more to the final sum. That mirrors a binary number where you have a least significant bit and a most significant bit. So this bit would contribute 0 or 1. This bit would contribute 0 or 8. So we can use the concept of a resistor ladder representing a binary number and the concept of a weighted summing amplifier so that instead of summing different voltages, we're summing different weights and the voltages are just present or absent. So let's say our digital signal is a 4-bit number. So we have four input signals. We're going to have four resistors. We'll call this one VO, V1, V2, and V3. And they're binary signals, they're logic signals. So if your supply is 5 volts, then each of these is going to be 0 or 5. And then the resistor ladder powers of 2, let's say we have R, whatever size resistor. So this resistor is R, R over 2, R over 4, R over 8. So we get our powers of 2. Another way you could look at it is R divided by 2 to the 0, R divided by 2 to the 1, R divided by 2 to the 2, and R divided by 2 to the 3. So there's the binary number directly incorporated into the resistors. So we connect all these together, then we have a very simple non-inverting summing amplifier. So each input voltage that is a 1, a logic 1, is going to be weighted based on its position in the number. So one of them will be worth a certain amount of weight and one of them will be worth an eighth of that weight, proportional to what a binary number is. And then you just put it into, there's no gain or anything, you just use the op amp to give you your nice buffered output signal. And it works great. And the best part is it's linear, which is our favorite word in electronics. Anytime something's linear, we smile because it's wonderful and easy to work with. Limitations. The resistor values quickly get out of control. If this was a 1K resistor, then this is an 8K resistor, which is already a big difference. But then you got 16K, 32K. So even going up past four bits is going to give you wildly different resistor values values and you're gonna it's, it's gonna start having noise issues where where the little bits don't really contribute right anymore you also have to use really good resistors of course because the the actual resistor value matters for the quality of it now you could use trim pots if you really wanted to make one with excellent quality you could use trim pots and you just turn it until it's the exact same value that you want so you don't have to worry about the tolerance you can just measure it and there you go but <laughs> you don't mass produce it that way so this is a primitive way to do it but it works just fine. And all you need is one op amp and a resistor for each one. And the output is a variable voltage from zero all the way up to the supply and anything in between. So I'm going to go over some math now. You may not care. If you don't care about the math, skip ahead. At the end of the video, I show you an example on my multimeter. So let's say that our binary number is B3, B2, B1, B0. It's just ones and zeros, so that's our binary number. VI is our input voltage. VO is our output voltage. The op amp is configured for zero gain, so whatever is on its non-inverting input is going to be on its output. So this voltage here is going to be our output voltage. Just for fun though, let's call it VS. 
Just to make it more clear, I'm talking about a voltage over here. But because there's no gain, it's the same thing. Now we approximate the input current of an op amp with zero. We say there's no current into the op amp, which is not true, but it's close enough that it's fine. We do that stuff all the time. So in other words, this current plus this current plus this current plus this current must equal zero. There will be currents going between the signals, but no current going into or out of the op amp the way we're approximating. So their sum net must be zero current. And we know the voltage, we know the resistance, so we know the current, so we can do a quick little math trick. Let's say we have x. x is just zero through three. It's an index. So let's say we have vx equals bx times vi. This is the digital logic signal. If the bit is one, then the voltage is the input voltage. And if the bit is zero, the voltage is zero. Rx is just r over two to the x. So we had the resistor letter. We had r, r over two, r over four, r over eight. There's that. So we have the sum for all x of the current x equals zero. We're saying that there's no current in or out of the op amp, so all the net current must be zero. But the current is the voltage divided by the resistance by Ohm's law. The voltage drop across one of the resistors is Vx, which is the digital logic signal, minus Vs because it's the drop from the input to the spot that we're summing at, where we're saying the currents equal zero at, over Rx. Voltage drop across the resistor divided by the resistor's value equals the current across the resistor. Add them all, they must sum to zero. So we have the voltage input times the bit minus the summing voltage over resistance over two to the x equals zero. So now I'm just gonna distribute this because it's r over two x, but that's in the denominator. So you're multiplying by two x, two to the x, two to the x. So we have the sum for all x of vi times bx times two to the x over r minus vs times two to the x over r equals zero. I just distributed the denominator and then the two to the x went up top, so it's not dividing by dividing. But now we can simplify. If I multiply by this resistance value times r is zero still, so we've gotten rid of that. Because this is all just summed terms, so we can multiply the entire equation by a value. And this makes sense because the actual resistance shouldn't matter, it's the proportions between. That's how a weighted summing amplifier works. The, the ohms involved doesn't matter, it's the relation between the ohms. Now I can split this up, because again, it's just summed terms, so I can take all these and add them over to the other side. So the sum for all x of vi times bx times two to the x equals the sum for all x of vs times two to the x. And now I can pull some constants out because the input voltage and the summing voltage are not changing. They're just one value all the time, no matter which x we're using. So we have the input voltage times the sum of the bits to the two power is the supply times the sum of two to the x. And now finally, we can divide over because we're interested in what this voltage is. The summed voltage, in other words, the output voltage. What are we gonna get? So we just divide this sum over. Don't fall in the trap. Don't put the two x here because it's a sum divided by a sum. It's not putting it in there. That's that's a little, a little gotcha if you're not used to doing math with the sigma thing. But you have to divide over the whole sum as one whole number to the x. And there's our answer. Now what is this? Well, the sum of two to the x for all x is just the bits, like two to the zero plus two to the one plus two to the two plus two to the three for this example. And we're not multiplying by anything, so they're all one. It's just these, which is a binary number one, 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 one. Okay. And then here, it's the same thing, except each digit is being multiplied by this. This is just positional notation, if you remember my video on that. So this is a binary number in positional notation, and this is the same thing, except all the bits are one. So you have a ratio. So you have like 1100 divided by 1111. In other words, if you have 1,000 grams in a kilogram, but right now you have 500 grams, you have half a kilogram. If you have 900 grams, you have 9 tenths of a kilogram. It's a ratio, a ratio that can go from zero to one. If all the bits are zero, the numerator will be zero, which means the whole thing will be zero and the output voltage will be zero. If all the bits are one, then Bx isn't even there. You've got a thing divided by a thing is one times the input voltage is the summing voltage. So it's the maximum possible. And then as this varies from 
0 to this, you get a ratio from 0 to 1, which is scaling the input voltage. So this is exactly what we want. So this is how it works. So one last note, why does it have to be binary? Why do we need resistor values like this? Because computers already work in binary. You don't have to do this. You could do different resistor ratios, but you would have to have a signal that is represented in those ratios because you have to supply your input voltage and you can have a variable input voltage. You could have whatever you want. You could, you could do whatever you want, but why? That's the thing. So you could do all kinds of shenanigans with this, but you've already got computers, everything's already binary, we just do this. So if you're ever really bored, you could create some sort of weird resistor ladder DAC in base 7, and you could call it the mathematical version of modern art. So anyway, let me show you this in action. So I've got my display board and my input board. This is the 4-bit binary number I'm inputting. My four resistors are 8.2K, 15K, 33K, and 68K, which is the closest to powers of 2 that I had in my box. So there's your inaccuracy, but it'll still basically work. And then we'll measure with my multimeter, which is currently showing 0 volts. I'm using a 5 volt signal, but I'm powering my op amp with 10 volts because my op amp is a discount one and it can't go all the way to the rail. It's a little cheapo op amp, which is great. Sometimes it works fine, but I needed headroom. So normally, this does not need two power supplies. Normally you just get an op amp that can go to the rail. So currently the number I'm inputting is zero and the output voltage is zero. If I set all the bits high to maximum value, you can see we're getting the rail. If I flip the least significant bit, it's adding about 0.3 volts. If I do the next one, it's adding about 0.6. The next one's adding about 1.4, and the most significant bit is adding about 2.6. So once you account for all of the inaccuracies in my resistors and everything, you can see it is about doubling each time. 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 1.2, 2.4, it's right about in there. So this bit adds 0 0.3. This bit adds 0.6, both of them together add about 0.9, nice and linear. So if I go through all 16 values, we have 0, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1.4, 1.7, 2.0, 2.3, 2.6, 2.9, 3.2, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 